guys, Lady Eloquine here, and I hope you guys had an awesome holiday, whatever it is that you celebrate. Um, I celebrate Christmas, so I went to Florida, we drove down there, and it was like, uh, to go down there was like 18 hours, and to come back, it was like 16. Oh god, it was, it was a lot. <laughs> but it was really fun, we had a lot of food, we hung out with family and friends, we got, um, I got some good stuff. Obviously, I got Fallout 4 for Christmas, which is cool. Um, went to see Star Wars, and Star Wars was fucking awesome. It was really good. And I sat next to this really cute guy in the theater. Definitely thumbs up. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, so basically, a lot of you guys have seen me play this game like from my friends list, and you guys would always ask me what I think about it. So I didn't want to kind of answer every single question and just repeat myself, so I figured make a quick video about it. So, I'll basically talk a little bit about um, my journey so far. I haven't done really anything in terms of uh, the actual main quest. Because the main part is actually you get out of the vault or whatever, you go to Sanctuary, you meet up with some people, and then you go to an area here. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil a lot of things. Um, and it basically shows you how to make settlements and all that stuff, so that's the basis of it. Um, so I haven't done anything, and after that, you're actually supposed to go to Diamond City, and I haven't done that. So, I'm level 19 now, I opened up all this stuff, just by kind of exploring. I I don't even know if I'm gonna go to Diamond City yet, I'm thinking about it. But Diamond City is actually right here, and there's a lot of areas over here that I've been doing, so we'll see about that. This fucking plane is going past my house, god damn it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay, so... Basically, what I'm going to talk about is things that I've seen so far. Um, so far, I'm loving this game. I have seen drops in frame rate um, when things get too chaotic. Typically, when there's a lot of enemies in one area, like um, when you're fighting ghouls. Shut the fuck up. I'm, you don't see me talking, bitch? Go do something. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, yeah. There tends to be some drops in frame rate down to, like, 20 frames um but it's nothing like game breaking like i've heard people say oh it goes down to like single digit kind of frame rate shit i haven't seen that yet i'm not gonna say it doesn't happen but i've never seen it yet so um that's not gonna sway me right now whoa what the fuck codsworth fucking dragon ball z teleporting shit what the fuck was that <laughs> no kiri get away no spoilers okay so um in terms of companions, I'm only going to mention two of them because the other ones are kind of spoilers. Not really pressed in, but still, I don't want to go into it. So, you meet Dog Meat at the Red Rocket, the Red Rocket, Red Rocket Station, the gas station, and he's got a little armor on. How cute is he? I put armor on him. I'll tell you about that later. Um, so, basically, Dog Meat can sniff out enemies, he can sniff out good stuff for you, so he'll go and pick out stuff. Um, there is actually a glitch where you can take him to Vault 111, and there is a really powerful gun in there, but it's a master unlock. I did it legitimately though, so I, I can open master level locks right now, so I already got that gun. But if you wanted to, you could take dog meat there and ask him to find something good while you're near that, uh, the gun chest, and he'll open it and give you the gun. Cosworth, hush. <laughs> um, so it's that's kind of a bug. I don't know if they fixed it yet because I didn't do it, but I'm pretty sure that it's still a thing. So if you hurry up, you can get that gun for free. <laughs> okay, so Cosworth, he says your name. He's so cool. Let's see. If... Oh, you bastard! I'm trying to tell you to say my name. Wait, cancel. Do it. There you go. How cute is that? I love that. More games need to fucking say your name. That's cool. Uh, really quick, I just need to see if I need to give him anything. Yeah, give him that. Okay. So, Codsworth, um, he can do simple tasks. You know, you can command him to go pick things up, um, when you drop them, and he'll retrieve them for you. Uh, Codsworth will give you purified water every now and again, which is pretty cool. Um, he's got a fucking flamethrower on this hand, and he's got some kind of, like, pizza cutter, buzzsaw on the other side. Um, so he's melee, and he's really good for taking out multiple enemies at once. And I find myself fighting a lot of ghouls, so he comes in handy a lot because he can burn them and just kind of cut their legs off and shit, and it's great. 
whereas dog meat can only do one at a time, which is kind of like, you know, and then he'll totally get gang fucked <laughs> if there's like a bunch of um, ghouls at one time. So I prefer Codsworth in that sense. Now, something that I don't like is the drugs. I know how weird that sounds, but seriously. So if you remember in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, um, definitely the kind of perk system was different in that. Um, I like this kind of perk system, but something that didn't come to my attention until recently. Um, basically, so you can see here the locksmith perk. I can open master level locks. So let's say there is, let's say you could only open expert level and there is a door that you want to open that is master. Previously, if you took Mentats and maybe had like a locksmith magazine or something that you could read and up your lock picking skill because it was numerical, so it was like um, maybe like 85 lock pick, right? And you wanted to open an advanced one, you'd need 95 or so, 90 or 95. You would use a Mentat to up your intelligence and then one of the magazines to help your lock picking skill and then you could open it without having enough actual skill to do it you know what I mean now you can't do that so I don't really see any need for mentats so anything that ups you intellectually anything like along those lines I don't have a need to use them so I'll just end up selling them so that's something that that I didn't like um, really it kind of dampers what you can do in terms of that like I used to feel so crafty and shit when you used to do that and go fuck yeah I, you know I don't need your skills I can just use drugs <laughs> you know use the drugs and do what you need to do but in this case you cannot which definitely is not good um so like I said the frame rate uh is steady most of the time like I said before there are dips in it every now and again um the AI kind of is crazy. Sometimes Codsworth will get stuck in areas and you'll go through a whole level and your companion won't be with you, which sucks, until you fast travel somewhere else or you take an elevator and then they'll come back. Um, so what I'm gonna do, really quick, just so you can see some stuff. Um, where should we go? I don't even know. I don't wanna go anywhere that'll spoil anything, so let's just go. Let's actually go here. I'll fast travel to the station and then go to the brewery that I haven't been to yet so we can see a little bit of action going on here. Um, but for the most part, I'm ha I, uh, whoa, I am having fun. There have been a few bugs um, and I'm not gonna spoil it again. There is a vault, it's called Vault 81. Don't worry about it, I'm not gonna say anything, but that place, be careful. Um, save before you go in, <clears throat> like before you talk to anyone, save before you, before that happens because that vault is very glitchy and what I mean by that is um, sometimes quests won't even appear and it happened to me, I had to restart like three or four times to get the quest line to actually start up, which was a pain in the ass, so that's a forewarning for you guys. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the brewery here let's put a waypoint on the map there uh, that's something that always confuses me where the fuck is mine <laughs> can I take this off how do we do that uh, data quests yes my pit boys pink leave me alone let me have this <laughs> I like it um oh and to do that if you don't know that uh, if you go to options where is it settings display and then you can change your the colors here and you can change your Pip-Boy colors and all that stuff my Pip-Boy color even though it says it's like light pink when you turn the light on it's really like white which is actually good that's actually what I wanted so there you go and I don't even know where the fuck my thing is oh there it is okay <laughs> sometimes it's hard to find your waypoint the one that you make because like the quest one is is very um predominant so sometimes it's a little bit confusing but you know that's always how it was with Fallout, so whatever. Let's see. Oh shit. Uh, do I want to go across this? Fuck it. I have right away. Go! 
Oh shit, yeah, I'm getting really, really radioactive. Let's get out of the water. Okay. <laughs> That's not so bad, actually. Okay, I haven't been here yet, I don't think. So let's go right in. We'll do a little bit of combat and whatever. I can show you guys that. The combat in the game is really good. Definitely much improved from the previous iterations. Um, so that's no big deal. You know, it's it's actually fun to go out and explore. You know, it's not like a chore. Not to say that it was a chore back in Fallout 3 in New Vegas, but this definitely fleshes it out a bit. Um, generally, I like to... Oh, shit. Oh, it's just a dude. <laughs> Generally, I like to check for um, traps and stuff, because there usually are some. What the fuck? There's a rad roach in the ceiling? <laughs> okay, nice little bug there. Okay, that's fun. And you do this? Oh shit. See, I fucking know. Wait, I wonder if I can stealth kill him in his sleep. No, I can't. Okay, just miss. That's fine. <laughs> like my captain's hat. <laughs> it helps my perception or something. I hate these monkeys. They're fucking creepy. <laughs> I don't know what they're there for. Hush, Codsworth. Shh. <laughs> I do like the weapon crafting. That's another thing. Crafting your weapons and your armor and stuff. That's very rewarding and stuff. But you do have to kind of invest heavily in certain perks to get that stuff, so I wish it wasn't... What the fuck? <laughs> Did you hear that laugh? I wish it wasn't like that, but what can you do? Oh shit, I think there's a lot of guys in here. Maybe we should go the old trusty sniper rifle, yeah? Oh, well I'm hidden, that's good. Oh, shit, okay. I don't see anybody. Vats isn't telling me shit. Oh wait, here we go. Damn. Fucking missed. Got his ass. Oh what, you're still alive? What the fuck? Alright, dead now. Shit. <laughs> Raider psychos. Uh oh. Oh shit! Fucking- Oh my god. They have like pixel perfect accuracy with the throwables in this game. Can I get your head? Nope. Damn. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my face. Not nice. Not nice. Alright, I don't have an AP. Shit. Maybe I should use this. Codsworth, go after them. I did upgrade this gun. It's really fucking good now. Stop it. Oh shit. <laughs> Bashed his fucking brains in. That was awesome. <laughs> oh my god, what's with all the planes passing my house? Jesus, H. Is that everyone? It can't be everyone. No, there's still more. Somewhere. Where? All the way over there. Where am I going? <laughs> Hmm. Oh, here we go. Jesus. What are you doing? Shot him in the dick! <laughs> I love the ragdoll, too. Oh, two stim packs. Nice. Alright, cool. You can play in third person. You know, with the, um, the touchpad if you're playing on PlayStation and all that good stuff. Um, I, I like the third person. Third person is cool, too. But uh, for more precision, I like to be in first person. And I don't know, that's just kind of nostalgic that way. Um, how, how much weight am I carrying? I don't even know. No, not too bad. How much junk do I have? I'll just give that to Codsworth, I guess. Um, that's a thing too, so don't. Don't forget about that. You can give your companions um, shit to carry because uh, you start out with like 240, I think it is, 240 weight that you can possibly carry at one time, um, which sounds like a lot, but as you pick shit up, uh oh, ah, almost had me there. 
Um, as you start picking stuff up, it gets really heavy and you become over encumbered a lot. So <laughs> definitely invest in the strength tree. And then there's a perk called, uh, fuck, what's the name of the perk? Something like uh, pack mule or something like that. No, that's what I was supposed to do. All right, I guess I did it. That's nice. Let's just explore the, oh, a safe, nice. Is this a terminal I can use? Novice terminal, a little bit of old school hacking. This is the same premise from the previous ones. So let's try salt. Lightness one. Okay, so S A L or T. Let's see if it's A. It is A, okay. Um so the A is in the center there. Dark. Nope. Alright, little shortcuts then. I go through every fucking line just to be sure that I don't miss any shortcut keys. Not getting any so far, that sucks. Come on, shortcuts, what the fuck? Oh wait, there's one. Dud removed. Wait, was that one? Nope. None there, oh. No, that's from the deep, okay. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Damn. There's one. Dud removed. Sorry guys, I have an OCD when it comes to this. Like, I have to go through every line. Because <laughs> I never remember which ones are actually the shortcuts. I know the brackets and the... The, uh parentheses usually are shortcuts, but this one isn't giving me retries, so I'm gonna have to start over. Damn. Okay, let's try again. Uh, let's do Rome. No likeness. Damn. Okay, Trek. Two likeness. Okay, T-R-E or K. Um, let's try... Where? No, that's the E's not in the right place for that. Um, what's this? Seam. Could be. Alright, it's definitely the E. It's probably fell. No, wait, it's not because it's not in the right place. Okay, um, we tried track, right? Oh, it might be seam actually. No, but we tried seam and it's not. Okay. Ah, uh, good god. <laughs> fucking hacking. Oh, there's one. Come on. Dead removed. Wait, did I skip that? No. Oh, there's one. Oh, what? I s there we go. Dead removed. There's one there. Try to reset. There we go. That removed. Oh, here we go. Great. Oh, this is a bunch of... Oh, alright, I won't read this because that might be spoilers, so I won't do that. Expert level save, here we go. Okay, um, let's figure out which way this would be. Oh, shit. Oh, be careful, that's another thing. Bobby pins are a lot easier to break in this game compared... There we go. Compared to... Fuck! <laughs> See? Compared to uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, definitely a lot easier to break locks. Gentle touch. There we go. Sweet. Pipe this little pre-war money. Pre-war money is still awesome to sell. Um, pre-war money... Shut up, Cosworth. <laughs> pre-war money... Oh, weapons workbench, just what I was talking about before. 
um, right, so pre-order money isn't just for selling. You can use it at um, settlements as cloth, so it can be a material as well. But I always just sell it because that's the best use for it, really. Um, let's see. I have any? I don't have anything for this one. Uh, hmm. Need adhesive and aluminum. I think Cosworth might have some of that actually. Let's see. Cosworth, what have you got? Alright, let's see. What have you got, my friend? Okay, what did I need again? Adhesive and aluminum. I think I gave him glue, right? I'm pretty sure. Well, there's tape here, which is adhesive, which you can take. And what was the other thing? Aluminum? I should have some. Oh, Codworth. Codworth should have some. Uh, shit. What? I swore I gave this man some aluminum tin cans. Huh. Oh wait, here we go. There's two aluminum in the alarm clock. Let's see. I don't remember exactly how much I needed. Because I'm going to make another one of these. I needed five. Oh well. Well, we'll do this later, I guess. But guys, that's basically all I wanted to share at this time. This is really all I've done so far. I've just kind of explored the wasteland. And I don't really want to spoil anything for you guys, so I'm trying to be careful with that. <laughs> so that's really all I've got. I'm going to explore the rest of this area here. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll do some more Fallout stuff another time. I want to play some more Assassin's Creed. I got one of my friends to fix the problem that I had with The Evil Within, so hopefully I will be able to get back into The Evil Within and jump right back in and continue that playthrough because I really want to finish that game. Oh, sorry, yeah. I did forget one thing. Um, with companions, um, except dog meat, uh, you have the ability to... everything you do in certain respects um, can change the outlook of how your companions see you. So if you do things that they like a lot, they will begin to like you a lot, and the highest rating for that is Idolize, and I did get Cosworth to Idolize me, so he's my best bud. Um, you do have romance options in the game, there are like six of them, I think, that you can romance, but there are 13, I think, uh, companions that you can have. But anyway, so for example, Cosworth likes, um, he likes it when you craft things on uh, weapons benches and armor benches, he likes it when you're generally a good person, um, he doesn't like when you steal, he doesn't like, sometimes he doesn't like it if you drop things on the floor, because it's kind of like littering, he's like a butler, so he, he gets kind of temperamental about that, but it's not all the time, let's see if it happens now, um, what do I have that I can drop, no, I'll just drop this for a second, let's see, I can't drop keys, really, I didn't know that, Alright, let's drop this thing. Quest items? It's not quest items! I used this already! Oh my god. Alright, let's drop Mentats. Let's see. No, he didn't give a shit that time. <laughs> Alright, so, um... So, a bunch of companions have different outlooks. Shh, Cosworth, shh. So sometimes, um... They like it when you're a dick, and you're just, like, completely an asshole to people. Some people don't like other factions. So you can't, um, there is one companion that doesn't like synths or the synthetic humanoids or something, so he don't, he doesn't want anything to do with them, so if you bring them over, he'll hate you. Um, and if they don't like you enough, they'll tell you, and they'll end up leaving you, um, or they'll attack you, or something like that. So if you want to ask them about it, you can talk to them, and you can ask them their thoughts. an idiot. Okay, can you turn around for a second? Hold on. I don't know why he's, like, not facing me. Come here. Okay. Face me when you talk to me, Cosworth. What the shit? So you ask them about your, um, about your relationship to them, and they'll tell you. Like I said, Cosworth idolizes me, so... So 
so there you go he'll let you know and if there's anything that he doesn't like he'll let you know and when you reach that idolization affinity you will gain a perk and you can check it in your stats so the perks are here and his perk is robot sympathy so thanks to your relationship with Cosworth you receive plus 10 damage resistance against robot energy weapons which is actually a good thing later on um, in the game <laughs> you fight some robots so that's actually a pretty good perk so that's pretty much all I have to say now <laughs> so now we'll say goodbye say bye Cosworth I don't think he can say goodbye so maybe if I tell him see you later okay say bye Oh, no, that's all he says. Okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.